Welcome to the second game of the stream coverage for the first day of the Australian Ultimate Championships Division 2 here in Shepparton, Victoria. My name is Blair Munro. What a pleasure it is to be here having jumped across the pond to work once more with Ulti TV to bring you the very best coverage in Ultimate here in Australia, back home for me in New Zealand and around the world. Proudly supported this year by the Australian Flying Disc Association. Streaming's back, baby. We have Hills Ironbark playing out of the light uniform. Lined up on the right-hand side. You can see them on your screen right now. Facing off against the Dragon Slayers. Uh, playing out of dark on the other side. Now, conditions already relatively stable. We've had a little bit of a breeze. Uh... Dominantly from the right-hand side to the left, not super strong, but the higher the disc goes, the more wind has an impact. So it's going to be really interesting to see what level of precision these teams bring to this game, how much control they have over their environment, and what kind of impact that's going to have on the game. And so we have Hills Ironbark to come out in light on defense. Kai with the big disc for Ironbark. It's going to touch down. Wilkinson. With it early, quick recenter despite a great bid. Comes back, finds Lim. Works back, Maglake. One handed take there by Teo. Back to Maglake there. Wilkinson now, bucket hat on the sideline, <laughs> or on the midfield rather. We're going to see a pick called. So that pick being resolved. Lim McGlake can't get away. The upline shot finds that's going to be it. It's Jan Bove with the score for the Dragon Slayers to put them one on the board. So Dragon Slayers to come out on defense this time. The score is 1-0 over Hills Ironbark. We have ourselves a race to 13, folks. We will take a halftime break once the first team has reached seven points. That magical threshold that can, in some circumstances, dictate the entire outcome of a game. We saw it in our opening match. Uh, Wollongong Surge versus Brisbane Fuse T. Great pull there. Stretching nice and wide. Lau and Hooper working the disc. Hooper now, as we see, almost isolated in the upfield space. Cheng with the disc. Not a lot of space, but Hooper's able to find a window. Chang puts the upline blade. It's going to be eaten up by Chang. What a great take there. 
Huge touch on the disc, going to get the turnover. It's going to give an opportunity back for Dragon Slayers to widen the score. Liu with the disc on the near sideline. Hooper stretching the reset out wide. They lose yards in the process, but manage to keep possession. Liu with a great cut. Pressure from Ching is going to be enough to cause the turnover. We're going to see Hooper hoping to close right at the level of the brick mark. They've only got 15 or so meters left before they close at the point. Puts a big shot up. There's going to be a tumble. Not exactly sure what happened, but as it is a self-officiated sport, it's up to the players predominantly to make that call. Whether or not there was contact that interrupted Cheng's ability to get free and make a legitimate play on the disc. So the players are going to discuss. We've got a game advisor available to provide a little bit of perspective as well. So they're going to contest a foul, which means the disc will return to the possession that was last uncontested. So it's going to be number 80, Robert Hooper, for the Iron Bark to take the disc. We're going to see that same vertical stack. When the disc is made live, players are going to move. We're going to see whether or not Hills Iron Bark can answer with a point of their own. Miscommunication sees the disc find turf. Dragon Slayers have the defensive turnover that they need here. Liu has the disc. Nice wide step out. Focuses on the line. Puts a big shot up from Kutero. Comfortably pulled in. I believe that was Jared Olsen for the score for the Dragon Slayers. Dragon Slayers, two back-to-back -back points up over Hills Ironbark. <clears throat> Huge rip <clears throat> from the Dragon Slayers. Nice amount of float, a little bit of fade towards the backfield. Kai with the disc now. Finds Atienza. <clears throat> Inside shot. Back to Kai. Works up. That's going to be a turnover there. Luke Quintero. Goes wide. Finds Chung. Quick recenter through to Quintero again. Javier with the disc. Eaten up, tries to throw the leading pass. Kai lets it come in low, nearly taking the head off our cameraman, Mike. Unflinching in the face of danger. So the disc is going to come back in at the point where it first established an out of bounds status. So it's a great opportunity here for the Dragon Slayers to go 3-0 and in the first half of the game. Wait, wait. 
big crossfield hammer, but it's got an edge up. Comes in a little wobbly, gives the Hills Iron Bark side an opportunity to get in position underneath it. We have Ma with the disc now. Conway. Little shimmy shake. Ma working with Atienza, threading that far sideline, finds Nguyen. Back to Ma, pressing wide, Atienza with the disc now. Chipping through to find Conway. A laser show straight to the end zone for the score. Fantastic performance there. Great patient offense for that final possession for Hills Ironbark. Hills Ironbark down by one against the Dragon Slayers. Coming out on defense, wanting to put the pressure on. We've seen Dragon Slayers get a hold and then get a break. They can play the aggressive defense. Have they got the precise offense? Little bit of contact manages to slip through. It's David Knight working towards the near sideline with Javier and Nam. Nice little chip shot through the midfield. Dragon Slayer so quick and aggressive. Peter Nam with the disc for the score. Perfect offense there. Just absolutely beautiful, perfect offense on that one. So clean, so precise. Criminally effective. Just some absolutely great work there. Nice agility, nice control through the disc. We're going to see a timeout called, or possibly not. Thank you, Rex. Dragon Slayers to come out on defense. An offside being called. And so that's going to give Hills Ironbark an opportunity to take the disc from the brick mark. So they'll start from a place center field. Kai puts up a big hug, looking for Conway. But Hayden Leong says, not today. What a touch on that. Goes up with both hands. We're going to see the Dragon Slayers cut back the other way. Nice wide cut to that near sideline. Followed up, looking for Quintero. And a pick has been called.
And so getting to see that again, the pick, it was clear, but it was a great defensive heads up play to switch off cross on that defense so that the player was not marked. That was a phenomenal athletic performance there, but recognizing he didn't secure possession of the disc until he'd already slid out of field. Some great sportsmanship on display. So Hills Ironbark now, we see Ma with the disc supported by Kai. Looks to Conway to get it off the line. Patient offense, Atienza with the disc, hoping to signal for something to develop in the downfield. It's Conway back again, putting a big shot up. Goes to find Aiden Turner for the score to bring it back to a one point game. What a pull down by Aiden Turner to put that one on the board for Hills Ironbark. They're going to come out on defense now. Big pull by Robert Hooper. Going to send it right into the front of the end zone, but some good positioning by Hillbark. It's going to allow them to quickly work the disc out and away to build some momentum. Threading through Fine's limb, far sideline with the green shades. We're seeing a zone nice and early. Ironbark trying to pressure around the disc as instead we find Nam working back towards center field. Finds Teo. Works back despite a great bid. Puts one up and across for the score. Comfortably putting that one on the board. Dragon Slayers 4, Hills Ironbark 2. And so the disc is going to come up from the Dragon Slayers. Percy Chung with the pull. Nice and high. Ma with Kai. As that handler call for the Hills Ironbark. We see Atienza make an undercut. Look off in favor of a deep shot from once again Conway. He somehow manages to juggle that into his lap. We see Turner once again streaking into the deep zone. Conway one more time, doing the most. Manages to reset, finds Ma. Atienza with a thread through to Ma, can't get it in hand. It's gonna give possession back to the Dragon Slayers to work back the far field. Puts a big shot up. For Jared over, uh, Jared Olsen over Conway, continues. 
trying to rush it through to Bosmans. Nice inside shot from Kai, finds Atienza, works in front of the defense, winds up the huck, decides to holster as Bosmans closes, works with Conway instead. Chang has the disc now, pressured towards the far sideline, manages to lose yards but finds a reset to Ma. Not a lot developing in the downfield space. Those cutters sitting quite stagnant. Has to reset to Kai instead. Conway cycling back into the handler space. We see Aiden Turner pressuring under. Finds Atienza. Very close. Wants to finish it off. Manages it. Finds Nguyen. There's the pull from Iron Bark. We see that same zone stifling the offense of the Dragon Slayers. Lim on the far sideline finds Nam. Works back to Wilkinson. Surrounded by four Ironbark players. Puts a high blade up over the top. Manages to close that one out. That's Chang with the disc for the score. Huge pull from the Dragon Slayers, but it's got a lot of edge. It's going to touch down out of bounds. Nearly taking off the head of Akash Sundar from Hills Ironbark on the way down. It's going to be one more time. Zachary Kai with the disc, supported by Ma in the upfield space. We're going to see a loose uh, vertical stack. We see Conway pulled away from the stack a little bit. Immediately pushing into that deep space. Turner to Kai. 
can't get away. The backhand huck. Nguyen with a safe reset to Ma. Turner looked off as the defense gets into position. Nguyen threads through, Woods to close. It's back to a one point game. Ironbark four, Dragon Slayers five. Iron Bark to pull for defense one more time. Robert Hooper with the disc. Early passes from the Dragon Slayers to get the disc moving. Lim far sideline. Marked by Lau. Manages to slip one through to Peter Nam. Working with Liu. Straight away with the close. Beauvais with the score. At least his second of the game. It's going to take it one point away from a halftime finish for the Dragon Slayers. Dragon Slayers to come out on defense now. Playing into a gentle wind. A slight upward downwind developing here in Shepparton, Victoria for the 2024 Australian Ultimate Championships. Jung with the disc. Big pull. Nice amount of height. A lot of float. Fading towards the near sideline. But it's fielded by Ma. A great opportunity for Dragon Slayers, but they give it up early as Conway steals a great give-go cut, working with Wien back to Ma. Turfs it and gives the disc back to the Dragon Slayers with an opportunity here to close out the half. Knight. Chung, supported by Knight and Lim. Lim open on the near sideline. Not looked at. Throws the hammer instead. A nice bladey shot through to Quintero. Didn't even turn over, really. One-handed take is going to be half for the Dragon Slayers. It's Beauvais one more time. The score is 7-4. Dragon Slayers up in this race to 13. What a fantastic uh, first streamed match of our open division here at the 2024 Australian Ultimate Championships. My name is Blair Monroe, working here with Ulti TV and proudly supported 
by the Australian Flying Disc Association. What a fantastic first half of the game. I cannot wait to be your eyes and ears, your context and commentary for the second half of this thrilling match. But we will be back with you very soon. Welcome back, folks, to the second half of the first match of our stream coverage of the 2024 Australian Ultimate Championships in the Open Division. 
We have the Dragon Slayers on your screen at the moment in the dark uniforms, playing off against the Hills Iron Bark, who so far have managed to allow the Dragon Slayers to go up by three points. Now, on your screen at the moment, you will see a gentleman on crutches on a phone who may or may not be receiving some tactical input from someone, one of you at home watching the stream. Well, we can... <laughs> That's absolutely allowed. The question is whether or not your insight at home is going to be fed through to the team and going to make a difference on the second half of this match. And at the moment, the Dragon Slayer is up by three. And coming out on defense. Now, we've seen their ability to generate breaks. We've seen their ability to read the Iron Bark's offense find those channels and shut them down, forcing contestable throws and creating opportunities for them to score. Bosmans with the disc puts it nice and high, but with that high front edge, it's going to lose a lot of that uh, horizontal distance. So it looks like there's a question as to whether or not it was in bounds, where the disc should be taken from, whether or not it can be bricked. We're going to see Ma pick up and initiate. Marked by Tong. Manages to slip away. Finds Kai. Finds Conway. Back to Kai. Some nice give and go movement. Not enough developing off those initial cuts. Conway finds Turner. Atienza has the disc. Puts a big shot up. Looking for Ma. There's the tip underneath. He's not going to be able to get it. Huge play by the Dragon Slayers there. Aggressive on an undercut, but it's not going to be able to keep it in the bread basket. We see Conway receive the reset. Marked by Bosmans. Atienza has the disc. Turner making a bit of a cut into some contested space. Breaks free. Nice and open. That is going to be Iron Bark. Back on the board. First point in the second half. The score is 7 5. Iron Bark to come out on defense, really hoping to close this gap. Sundar with the disc. The big inside out pull, touching down towards the near sideline. Nam loses yards on the reset. Sundar aggressive on defense. Despite a great cut from Teo, is not going to be able to get it. Has to receive it from Nam instead. Goes back to Maglake. Nice low release shot. Gets a bite out of Hooper. Nam pushing wide to the far sideline. Teo has the disc now. Knight looking to cut into that deep space. Has to come back around Maglake with it. 
Wilkinson comes in low. McGlake gets gets it clean. Big crossfield hammer is going to touch down. Not in the end zone. Knight with a snapshot through. Somebody take a photo of that. So clean, so precise. What a point. It's 8-5 for the Dragon Slayers. Dragon Slayers to come out on defense. The disc is going to fall down out of bounds. Can be bricked by Ma, brought to the center field. Ma to Conway, a classic connection, chips through to Atienza. Goes around to Conway as they pressure that far sideline, marked by Leong. Ma with a great little around cut, pulling away from the defender to allow that shot to come up over the top and float into space. Conway wanting to close out, huge layout grab there. Atienza for the score to bring it back. The score is six to eight. Still in favor of the Dragon Slayers. Hills, Iron Bark to come out on defense now. We see one more time Robert Hooper to pick up the disc to kick things off. Deciding not to pull this time, giving the disc to Akash Sundar, number 41. Nope. 21, my apologies. Jack Dev with the disc. A little bit of a skim pull. Knight, McGlake. Peter Nam goes around to Knight. Little flick getting bites out of the defense. McGlake again on those great undercuts. Puts a little bit much heat on that one for Teo to keep it in hand. Lau. Tyrone Lau with the disc. Decides to rip it. Sending for Akmal. That's going to be the score. To put it back within one. And a great break there from Hills Ironbark. Showing that they can do it just as well as the Dragon Slayers.
Ma with the disc for the Hills Iron Bark. Blades early, touches down in bounds with a little bit of roll fielded by Knight to Maglake as Nguyen already applying that early defensive pressure. Conway doing the same on the far sideline. Give and go attempt has the disc in the hands of Lim who can't get that reset back to McGlarke. Just a slight overthrow. Iron Bark need this one to tie the game. We're hearing the calls for an isolation cut from number eight, Eden Conway. There he is. Gets the separation, but the defense being heads up, recognizing when that's not going to come through. The disc comes back to Ma. Kai available as a reset there. Having to shake free from Bove, struggling to do so, losing yards in the process. Atienza with the disc now. Great attempt by Kai to keep that one off the turf. The reset option came in a little bit low. It's going to give the disc back to the Dragon Slayers. It's high. Aiden Turner getting up underneath that one. Kai and Ma in the upfield space. A tight, compressed vertical stack from Ironbach. Turner gets overthrown. A huge flying shot from Atienza. Second big layout of the game. Not going to be enough this time. We're going to see the Dragon Slayers pick up. They need to widen this game. Nam with the disc. Fires sideline, finds Lim. Puts a long shot up, looking for Bove again. It's run down, but it's not going to be inbounds. Nice deep cut early, getting wide separation on the undercut. Moktasi with the disc now. Puts a nice shot up, but it's fading. An attempt at the greatest from Kieran Nguyen. A player's inbound status is determined by the last point of contact with the uh, ground. If he'd leapt out and managed to touch that disc back in bounds, it would have been good. <laughs> McGlarke recenters to Teo. Pushing hard, finds Nam far sideline. Marked by Atienza, forces the forehand. Bove as Kai comes all the way around to stop the reset, letting the huck go up. Atienza with a huge flying block. He's not going to let it go that easily. Timeout has been called. A veteran move there as Ironbark take possession to make a call. Going to have a short break. It's going to give them an opportunity to establish possibly a, a called play. Uh, play off a static disc. They're going to come out, set up an offensive structure. The Dragon Slayers are going give, to be given the opportunity to respond to that. And we will see how this point unfolds. Whether or not Ironbark are able to gel something together, to put them back on even footing with the Dragon Slayers, or whether or not the Dragon Slayers can unsheath the mighty lance, the spearhead of their defense, to put some pressure back the other way, generate a turn, and close out a break. Only time will tell, but we will be back to see what happens after this short break. 
We are a group of ultimate players, coaches, and video enthusiasts. We've worked with the major federations and the greatest events. We're on a mission to make Ultimate huge. We want our videos and live streams to be free to watch. We want to make stories that not only reach you, but also reach people outside the Ultimate community. Like and subscribe, Ultimate TV, the best in the world. Become a member and, and fund, fund our, our work, work to cover more events in the future and to bring more stories and live coverage to the eyes of the Ultimate world and, and beyond. beyond. And speaking of beyond, both of these teams going above and beyond to put on a fantastic show for the folks here watching at home. Hills Ironbark to take possession after a timeout to set up an offensive structure and hopefully put away a big point that will keep them in this game. Ma with the disc. The far front corner of their defensive end zone. Dragon Slayers want to be nice and aggressive here. Lim not letting anything get off the line. It's a really short gainer of a pass. Looks like there was contact on the play. And it's uncontested. So Kai will retain possession of the disc. Now, as the disc is live, marked by Beauvais. He's waiting for something to develop. And looks like there was a complete shutdown by Beauvais on that one. Fantastic defensive awareness. Knight finds Maglake. Dragon Slayers going to bring it back to a two-point game. See that again. Knight to McGlarke. A great little strike cut there. They are to come out on defense one more time. A race to 13, four points away from victory. A little clap of unity on display from the Dragon Slayers. Chung with the big long pull. Going to be fielded by Hooper. Working with Lau. High release comes around. The Jack Dev works back to Lau. The second high release over the top to Hooper, marked by Quintero. A very aggressive upline to pull the defense out of position, giving Tyrone Lau an opportunity for an easy under reset to center field. Cheng with the disc, puts it up high. Huge play there. Tried to see Akmal put it towards the far sideline. Dragon Slayers get in the way, say it's not gonna happen. They wanna keep this game wide open. A huge slide there from Chang to keep it in the hands of the Dragon Slayers offense. Finds Javier. Puts a shot up. Nice and comfortably brought in to bring it back to three. The inside break forehand. And then when the defense is scrambling.
Dragon Slayers up by three, racing to 13. Big pull, outside in, throw, it's gonna touch down. All the pressure towards the far sideline, but they're able to get a shot up for Conway. Atienza open, but it's not him who's gonna be the one who pulls it down. Well, a change is as good as a rest. As Moctesi is the one to reel that one through, putting Hills Ironbark back within two. Low pull towards the near sideline. Shout out to those watching from here in Australia, back home for me in New Zealand, and around the world. A nice undercut there is going to see Etienne Bove with the disc. It's fading towards the far sideline, but Teo is going to pull that one down right in front of the end zone to close. Dragon Slayers 11, Hills Ironbark 8. A two-point game for the Dragon Slayers. Hills Ironbark with a five-point run towards victory. Jung with the disc. Nice and high. A little bit of edge is going to help it float. Nice and long, a big chase from the defense. Looks like there may have been an offside call there. So that means the Iron Bark offense are going to be able to bring their disc to the brick mark. So the pull itself was fantastic deep into the uh, defensive end zone for the Ironbark, but positioning of the players, Conway on a great open cut. But now Quintero's in hot pursuit, but it's not going to be enough. Conway reels that in. Man of the match for the Hill Iron Hills Ironbark, absolutely. Every second or third touch, every third or fourth assist, and now adding some scores as well. Fantastic work, it's still a two-point game.
Hills Ironbark taking the whole team out onto the line, making sure that everyone has the information on this next one. One of the key things about good defense is that it is driven by communication. If all the players on both sidelines are aware of what the team's strategy is, they can provide feedback and information to the seven players on the field to allow them to make the best possible decisions and really give them an opportunity to close down the Dragon Slayers offense who have worked incredibly efficiently throughout this game. They've been quick, they've been reflexive and very reactive, very low stall counts, very quick to release the disc. And so if Hills Ironbark can shut that one down, then that's what they're going to need. And to do that, they'll need the communication. Knight goes through early. Hooper on defense. Gives up a window. Knight with a reset. Finds Maglake with the disc now marked by Lau. Nam with the disc. Comes through. Finds Tao. Near sideline, nothing is developing for him. So a quick bounce over the top to find Knight by way of Maglake. <laughs> Bove not choosing to look downfield at all. Instead, trying to give the disc back. Finds Sean Johnson with it. And a great touch there by Sundar. Going to shut that one down and give the Ironbark an opportunity to swing back and keep it to a one-point game. Lau puts the shot up. It's edging back early, but Lim's going to come down with it. And quick to start the momentum going back the other way, breaking into a full sprint, trying to develop a deep cut. Cuts back on the under, it's Maglake. They're a little bit crowded, but as the play disperses and gives them an opportunity, the stall count's getting high. Tyrone Lau allows a wide reset to Ian Lim. Quick to slam on the brakes and keep that momentum moving forward. It's Bove looking for Lim. Finds him. Dragon Slayers 12, Hills Ironbark 9. Great work by Ian Lim to really dominate that point. That counts as a bookends too. That huge block, the intercept, and then managing to close out. So the first and last touch of that possession. Fantastic defensive awareness and performance there. And just that mental switch to go from defense to offense so quickly and aggressively. Really leaving the Hills Ironbark on the back foot. Chung with the disc for the pull. One more time for the Dragon Slayers as they hope to close out this point and game with another break. Disc comes in low with a lot of heat. Kai and Ma, those two handlers who have been the core of the Iron Box offense, working with Conway, who's just absolutely doing the most. Ironbark folding into a three-handler set by the looks of things. Atienza with the disc now on the near sideline. Aiden Turner can't finish it off with the one. Atienza with the nice upline cut. Tries to snap one straight through to Conway to put it away, but it comes out low. It comes out very blady. It finds the ground, and it's going to give the disc back to the Dragon Slayers here. Uh, not really sure whether or not that contact with the back shoulder maybe had an impact on the quality of that throw. Potential there for a foul to be called, but it looks like they're going to let that one slide. Dragon Slayers are going to pick up and initiate right from in front of their defensive end zone. We've seen a Callahan already scored from this point in this tournament so far. 
Chung puts up the big backhand looking for Leong. But instead, it's going to be Chang with the disc right in front of the end zone. The downfield is as a scrambling. And that's going to be the game. That is Chang to Chang to close that game out. It is 13-9, Dragon Slayers over Hills Ironbark. A fantastic performance by both of these teams, but it's the Dragon Slayers who are your triumphant heroes for the first game of the stream coverage of our Opens division at the 2024 Australian Ultimate Championships Division 2 here at Shepparton in Victoria. My name is Blair Munro. I'm here with Ulti TV in proud partnership with the Australian Flying Disc Association. Thank you so much for watching. Alti.tv.